Welcome back. Let's play some more games on Shogi Wars. Uh, I'm currently in the mood to see as many tactics as we can get. Good luck. So we're probably going to try to play a central file opening. Um, this could get a bit awkward, but it's okay. Wow. I think I would know this one by now. Um, so let's protect the center pawn. I survived this because I'm playing as the first mover, Santa. And then we guard the bishop's head. And our opponent is trying to play on the edge here. Ah, but they've already lifted the rook, so I can't easily exploit this bishop position. Interesting. Um, they're playing the duck. That's the duck legs strategy in full effect. It basically sticks the king between two castles, which makes it a bit difficult to access. Um, but as long as I don't create a single weakness, everything's fine. It's kind of annoying playing against this strategy. I saw bishop ex- oh, okay. Their profile says bishop exchange opening. Um, I don't know why. So we're going to take this. They have one pawn in hand. So, how do I attack? If I drop a lance here... They drop a pawn in front of my lance, and the rook's defending two pawns. Um, Hmm. If I take this, I have multiple pawns I can drop. So let's take it. This looks interesting. Oh, that means their highest performing opening is Bishop Exchange. It doesn't necessarily mean they specialize exclusively in it. That's worth noting. Okay. Regardless, I'm not super fan of uh, Bishop Exchange opening, so I just simply dodged it. Um, and here we are. So, material is still level. If they take my pawn, I trap a rook. So... This rook retreats. Oh, wait a second. The rook retreating gives me a clear path of attack. So let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we surprised uh, the opponent, so hopefully that counts for something. I'm a pawn to the good. Oh, but I should be attacking this bishop head directly. That would be so much more efficient. Um...
All right. So they split their castle just to defend against my threat. Um... Maybe I should have tried this last turn. I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't be attacking where my king's at. I mean, yeah, I consider I could try hunting down this pawn, but that seems kind of difficult to work. Um, I could drop a pawn to collect the knight. Hmm. Or I could take it directly, the lance takes back, and it's difficult for me to continue. Um... Yeah, let's pursue it this way. So without giving up my lance, I can continue attacking. The deficit here is that it costs me a pawn in a turn to do it. Um, but I get to keep a lance, at least for a little while. Damn silver is blocking my attack. And I'm not going to have time... Well, this Tookian can't take everything. Oh, that's weird. All right, let's take it. And continue harping on this point. That's the target right there. There's only one way they can defend it, and that's by dropping a lance in front, and that defense doesn't do anything. Because I can just take this and then repeat it. And they can't defend against this. So I have broken through at some cost. And it's that cost which it's gonna suck, but oh, I should take this. This is a clear, clean tempo. Um, the rest is not gonna be so clear. Yeah. Yep. I saw that coming. Didn't see any way to stop it. Um. I'm thinking this is not an easy position. At least not for me. Um, Alright, I have an idea. Uh, I'm not fully convinced in it. If I take that, things get messy.
Oh, wait, I could drop a bishop here. They could block. No, no, no. That's not what my idea is. Oh, my goodness. What a mess. I can't find any way to get those tactics working. That's so bizarre. Um... Okay, let's unblock my bishop, because I have a sense that I might need to use that soon. Um, Sampun. Oh, I can't drop a pawn here. Dropping a pawn there was an important part of my plan. Um, I might have to improvise a lot. Sucks. Okay, wait, I'm... That's extremely dangerous, now that I think more about it. I kept thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking, and the more I thought, the more bad ideas I came up with. And I finally settled on playing a bad idea. Mm -hmm. so that's how it is. This is awful. I don't know, it's complicated and I don't have time to figure it out. Maybe it's not awful, it's just exceptionally hard to figure out. And I'm down on material. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's terrible. Just that I'm setting myself up for failure. But I haven't necessarily failed just yet. That's insane. I didn't think they'd do that. I made it. Alright, that explains the insanity. In general, this would be dangerous, but my king has no escape. Thanks for game. Alright, let's play a couple more.
I did mention wanting tactics. Good luck. That was too much. That was so much. So much more than I bargained for. Alright, let's do this. This looks fun. I can push the... I cannot remember things when I'm stressed out. Yeah, of course I could push this pawn. Uh, I was afraid of this pawn drop. But that doesn't do anything. Anyway, so now I've committed to this bad shape. What do I do next? I mean, this is a defensive shape. It just makes it very hard for my rook to use these same squares. So... Alright. Let's somehow get myself out of this mess. Okay... the hell is going on? Okay, we're gonna get my king out of here. That's interesting. That's a choice. All right, let's just keep going. If the silver moves up, we can exchange bishops and profit with this fork. We shouldn't expect the opponent to fall for that, but what's the opponent going to do here? I assume exchange bishops. I just didn't want to do this exchange because this helps their silver move up. Where here, they're kind of gridlocked. Um, they might build Crab Castle or something. I don't know. Okay, my overlay looks fine. So many turns ago, this pawn was probably just straight up hanging. Um, not that... Like, they would have had to take a turn to defend the knight's head or something, but then I didn't see a good way to hold this in the long term. Alright, this bishop is on the wrong diagonal. Um, that means it's easy to attack. So if I hit it, it retreats. Uh, if I hit it, it retreats and then can come back later. If I wait, they're just going to push this. So waiting is not great. Um, in chess, I'd be very hesitant to do this sort of thing while my king is so exposed. All right, they are desperate to break in, so they sacrifice. Ah, and so they do break in. I didn't see that possibility. Um, that's definitely a fork. 
All right, so they get multiple pieces and have successfully broken in. Uh, I've almost castled this game. Do I get like half credit for that? All right, so what do I do about the rook? Hmm. This looks modestly interesting. I'm guessing they're going to drop a silver right here, and we'll see some tactics. Tactics I was trying to read out and just couldn't figure out. Um, didn't expect that. All right, so I'm allowing a rook exchange in this manner. They can take here, I can take their rook. And sure, I'm probably losing my lance and knight, but... I have a bishop, actually two bishops and a rook in hand. And there's a communication error. Hmm. Welcome. Hello. So I was thinking they would just take this, this pawn here. Thanks for the game. Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, it's still a game there. I guess something came up on their end. Uh, let's play one more. What's today's proverb going to be? Good luck. Yep. Oh, goodness. What to do this time? How about this? Yeah. I'm playing a game a bit early this morning. Um, didn't sleep as well as I hoped I might have. Um, Alright, so this is possible. I don't know how good it is. And so now what do I do? Well, Geeko has given me a creative idea here. Wait a second. Um, hmm. I'm going to play what Geeko showed me forever ago, which is just weird. Um, and probably not recommended, but it uh, catches my interest somehow. I might have gotten the move order wrong on this super special Geeko thing where they exchange bishops and then redrop it on a very good diagonal. I might have gotten the move order wrong on this. Maybe that's a Senta only thing. I don't think so, but I don't really remember it. Um, regardless, it seems risky, so perhaps I should be more careful. Um, 
So what do I do about a bishop drop here attacking this? I don't know, man. Um, maybe not. Do not fear so much and just let it happen. 2-2 two, two rook is Onoryu Muka Ibisha. Alright. That's cool. Um... Well, that's an interesting choice of a castle. Or whatever it is. Um, sure, why not? Let's do it. This is safe, right? One gold on Aguma. Totally safe. Just shows perhaps I'm not so creative this morning. <laughs> or too creative. I don't know. Probably should have moved my silver over here. Are they going to do the same thing? Yep. Alright, let's complete this. So we have our shape. Now the bishop here is actually really well pointed at that castle. Can't dispute that. So, um... I don't want this bishop attacking over here. Hmm... hmm. I know the instant I move this silver, they're going to do crazy stuff, but okay, here we go. Silver's moved. Um, so let's see what tactics they wield. I don't even see what they can do, but I'm just scared out of my mind here. So my rook is blocked, but I know if I try to unblock it, they bring their bishop out. Um, quite profitably, so I can't let that happen. Um, I could consider, and should consider, dropping my rook back here. Defends my knight, and sidesteps crazy knight stuff, and whatever. So this is a safer square for the rook. Um, but I don't have a plan to attack this bishop. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm attacking this, and considering pushing on this file, um, interesting. Alright, this is safe, right? Breaking up my castle just so I can attack. Alright, they reinforce this shape. Um... I 
I'm going to get my pawn in hand. I need a pawn somewhere. Oh, hang on. I could move my bishop over. Why haven't I not done that? So, well, at first this gold was blocking my attack on this square, but... Um, yeah, let's promote this, or at least make it something they've got to figure out. Um. Hmm. I can advance here. And trap a bishop. Um, I'm also, like, if I bring up my gold, my own bishop gets trapped here. So I'm Goku. a bit hesi hesitant to do that. Um, They don't have a way to defend this square other than having the rook babysit it. No, I'm sorry, they could bring their silver back. And maybe should. Um, this gets messy. If this retreats, no, I try to trap a bishop. Um, well, the bishop escapes over here. Unless I bring my silver up first. If I bring my silver up, they'll know what's going on. Hmm. Hmm. But I need some way to like blunt that. So let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Um I guess that gives their bishop another escape square. Um Okay, so then what do they do if I attack this point? Maybe I should have dropped a pawn first, but then, like, I trapped my own bishop, so maybe not. <sighs> this game is going to teach us something about how pawn structure works in Shogi. It's really complicated. Um... Hmm. Wait, what's defending the knight? I don't even know. If I take here, they take, I take. They block somehow. This looks like the most sane thing I can do, um, but it doesn't get too far. So then next I can come back this way. Interesting. Um,
Okay, what defends this? There's probably some tactic here that just ruins my day. Oh, there's the knight. Oh, but then I can promote later. Or sooner. I don't know. Such a messy position. But yeah, if I move my rook over, they have a silver drop. I just can't hold everything simultaneously, but if I drop my silver anywhere to defend this, um, the defenseless position just gets so much harder. This gains a tempo. So yeah, their rook can invade and promote and stuff. Oh really? Weird. Um All right, this knight's going to attack my rook. I don't know how much I care. It's just such a mess. So let's forget how much each piece is worth and just play this one tactic at a time. Mm -hmm. That's a mate threat. Ippun.
30秒20秒 Knowing and knowing what's mate and what's not mate would help immensely at this phase. Gold drop would have been smarter. Keeping count of how many pieces are in each player's hand would help, too. I had a free rook there. I missed the free rook. Yes. Yeah, this is where it helps. Granted, oh, I'm sorry, my opponent was actually in time trouble. Usually I'm the only player in time trouble there. So, usually, um, if I win at that phase, it's because my opponent has been careless or just missed something but um yeah this that's a phase where that training absolutely will pay off because you know supposing i have a checkmate i need to find it it matters uh, but it's basically only at that phase like you point out that it does matter but yeah hope we enjoyed these games uh thanks for watching